Hey, this is Dr. Farhan Kawaja. Let's do some basic algebra in this lesson. Let's start with x, okay? Now, the letter x is very essential in algebra. It is basically the unknown. So whenever you have an algebraic equation, you are usually trying to find x. Sometimes you try to find y or a, it doesn't matter. The letter doesn't matter, but usually it's x, it is the unknown, and that is always what we're looking for. It is like we're hunting for uh, what value x is. So let's get some examples, okay? Now let's say I have x plus one equals eight. So basically what this is saying is, there's something, some value, when I add it to one, it equals eight. Now, Obviously, if you look at it, it's like, oh yeah, it's seven. Seven plus one is eight. Let's do it in a way which is methodical, and so you can do it this way with any equation out there. This is how you do it. You subtract each side by one, so minus one here, minus one here, and you get x equals eight minus one, which is seven. That is how you solve an algebraic equation. Okay, now let's go a little bit more complicated into algebraic equations. Let's say now we have 2x plus 3 equals 12. Now what this equation is saying is 2 times some number, some value, when I add it to 3 it equals 12. I just don't know what x is. That is my goal. That is my challenge. So now let's continue to find x. What do you do? Again, first you want to isolate this 2x on one side of the equation, which is the left side. So why don't we subtract 3 from both sides, so minus 3 here, minus 3 here, 12 minus 3 is 9, and the 2x carries down. 2x equals 9 we want to still find x. So it's basically saying 2 multiplied by something is equal to 9. Let's find what that is. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get x is equal to 9 divided by 2, or 4.5. And that is how you solve a more complicated algebraic equation. Now let's do an even more complicated algebraic equation. Now instead of x, I'm going to use the letter e, okay? So let's say 5e minus 7 is equal to 3e plus 6, okay? Now you have e's on both sides of the equation. It's a little bit more complicated. Let's solve it. Let's see how easy this is. So, three e's on this side. We want to take all the e's to the one to one side, and we want to take all the numbers to the other side. So, if you do minus three e here, minus three e here, three e minus three e is zero. Five e minus three e is two e. And here you have six. Okay, minus seven here. So you can do plus seven here plus 7 here. Minus 7 plus 7 is 0. Plus 6 plus 7 is plus 13. 2e equals 13. Divide by 2 both sides. e equals 6.5. And that is how you solve for e. This is Dr. Farhan Kawaja. Thank you for listening.